There's no substitute for a live horse, but the mechanical steeds of Griffith Park's merry-go-round have been trotting in circles since 1935. It was here that Walt Disney sat on a bench, watched his daughters ride the carousel, and dreamed up a magic kingdom that parents and children could enjoy together. But Casey and I didn't ride here to discuss Disneyland. Instead, we met up with historian Allison Rose Jefferson to learn about an event that took place here on Memorial Day, 1961. A civil disturbance that challenged the notion that Griffith's Park was for everyone. This incident that happened at Memorial Day in 1961, and it was, it was a situation that was uh, some African-American kids who had uh, come to enjoy themselves on that particular day here at the merry-go-round, and they were jumping on and off and skipping out from pain. And the proprietors were some white guys, and they weren't so happy about them skipping out and paying. And so then the proprietors called the police. And this is during a time when we had Chief Parker and his police. And Chief Parker, at the time, was very antagonistic towards the African-American community. It was a busy day here at the park. And when the police got here, they had an altercation with the crowd because they were calling people names. They were using racial slurs and they used that N word and, and the young people kind of got a little upset. And, and, and the, they and basically the owners, shut down the park, didn't and they? they yeah. And they shut down the park. There were more African Americans coming to use the park, as well as Mexican Americans. And the people that were running the uh, concession here were feeling a little overwhelmed, I think, that day. It was the time of the Freedom Rides, as well, where the folks in Montgomery, Alabama, who uh, were down there to uh, protest segregation and discrimination, had been attacked. So. The social context of the time was all over the nation, young people involved in expressing themselves in terms of various kinds of civil rights and, and taking advantage of the various opportunities that were available to them. In fact, the young men who hopped on and off the carousel explicitly invoked that political context, quipping that they were freedom riders. That explains why bystanders rushed to their defense. When police arrived, the crowd grew angry and chanted, this isn't Alabama. And the kids got uh, accused and arrested and wound up having to spend a little time in county jail. So that just shows the attitude of trying to vilify these young men. So this event, 1961, the, the melee or the riot or the protest or whatever label you, you put on it, it really sort of challenged the, the notion that Griffith Park was for everybody, right? There was a new sense of what the civil rights struggle was about during that time. And I think the kids who were participating in the melee were just kind of feeling their oats as young people mm -hmm. here in Los Angeles. And that's something that has carried over from earlier years of the park's development. Even though there were these rights struggles that were here and the melee situation that happened, African Americans had been using the park earlier for golf, for picnics. And I guess it all kind of leads to the present day when sort of these picnic grounds right around the merry-go-round, it's where people from all different backgrounds in LA kind of meet and yeah. um, share the space. Yeah. That was all sort of in the spirit of what Griffith intended for this place. Although the merry-go-round has been a social and political flashpoint, it remains a park favorite and fun as ever.